मॉड्यूल फोर्टी वन मैस्क्यूलिनिटीज एंड फैमिनिटीज बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक शॉर्ट लैंग्वेज नोट एज डी यू दैट इज अबाउट मॉड्यूल थर्टी सेवन वी शुड नेवर यूज ऑल द डे राधर वी शुड यूज ऑल डे नाउ वी कम टू दिस मॉड्यूल टॉपिक and see uh, here we are not using masculine rather masculinities and instead of feminine femininities there is something behind it why are we using plural forms of these two nouns these two categories so let's see first of all uh, you know from the previous uh, talk that we are talking about male female dichotomy are we call it gender order this is established by social institutions like governments and schools and other organizations how governments do this they do this when they ask people to provide information through in census for example and uh, schools do it verbally in classrooms teachers often say boys and girls or uh, even when a teacher teaches consonants and vowel sounds so she may use mr for consonant and mrs for vowel but gender order is also constructed through generalizations in global market by generalizations we mean that we give general statements neglecting differences in gender for example we say all men are physically powerful and all women are physically delicate these are generalizations understanding in global job market but physical power of men may be indirect there is no direct link between physical power and maleness because sometimes males use their physical power indirectly for example it happens when you are in such a position like commander in army or you are uh, uh, head of some workforce and you in a way ask people how to engage with physical work so this is how you in fact using your physical power indirectly you control other people's physical power and uh, it means power may not always be phys physical it may come from authority competence and brains intelligence if so men and women are both powerful so generalizations don't work there are differences among men there are differences among women men two face now it is understood that uh, generally that uh, female are delicate now see in global job market even men are required to take care of refinements like uh, they should be well dressed they should be well mannered they should take care of their dress and ways of talk they should be polite gentle soft etc etc women are not always delicate in local jobs they show physical power and even they can face threats uh, inside and outside their workplace for example these days we see fingernail technology so there was a time when uh, women had long nails and it indicated that they are free from any kind of physical work but these days you know nails are artificial they are uh, just for a fashion so women can remove them and can do physical work with long nails even so the conclusion of this talk is that these generalizations that men are physically powerful and women are physically delicate they don't work in specific situations they may work in global job markets but not in particular context the male female dichotomy cannot be captured in singular generalizations 
we can capture all these differences by using plural terms, masculinities and femininities.